Hi, I'm Randy Pobst, and I'm at the Holly High Voltage Experience at Sonoma Raceway, the first annual for all electric power. Cars and trucks of all kinds are here. Behind me, there's a whole bunch of amazing swaps. All, everything from old pickup trucks to new Porsches to old Porsches. I mean everything. I've been a racer my whole life. I've driven for Porsche, for Audi, for Mazda, for Volvo, 700 races. And in the last few years, I've had more and more opportunities to drive electric race cars or electric track cars, both. The best way to show you what electrical power is like on track is to have you come with me and ride a few laps of the racetrack. Let's go. We're at Holly High Voltage Experience on track at Sonoma. We're in a Porsche Taycan EV, full electric. Immediately, I'm so impressed with the power. The torque from an electric motor is instantaneous and it's strong. One of the biggest differences in driving an electric vehicle on track is that there are no gears. The Taycan actually does have two gears. It's an automatic shift, but it's so seamless that in a lot of ways, an electric vehicle is easier to drive on track than an internal combustion car because there's no shifting. With electric, I find I have to be a little bit more careful with my power application because there's so much power, instant torque. But I love that feeling. Torque wins races. That's a saying that we have in the racing business. And boy, oh boy, electrical vehicles have it. This Porsche Taycan is an excellent example. It's brand new. And also we find electrical acceleration is really different from internal combustion in that it's so smooth and consistent. You actually gain speed a little faster than you think you are because the thrust is so steady. Just then we went 80 to 105 miles an hour in just a second or two and it doesn't give the oral feedback. You're not getting the sounds and the changing power curve that you find in an internal combustion engine. The power is steady. Strong, steady, smooth, and quiet. So it can be a little deceptive. As far as the braking, there's two things going on and it's different in every electric car. But braking is a combination of the hydraulic brakes like you have in any normal internal combustion car, and the regeneration, the electric motors regenerating power under braking to charge up your batteries and get some of that energy back. Every system's different. This Porsche is seamless. I've been racing my whole life, and a lot of the people that know me and my YouTube followers, etc., often ask me this. What's it like not having the sound? Because we're so used to that V8 rumble or the wail of a four cylinder. And for me personally, having raced at Pikes Peak and done several serious track days, I don't miss it. All I'm doing is I'm delivering that torque to the tires in the best way I can. And it's instantaneous and very easy to control. There's tremendous potential in this power, and the technology is improving rapidly. I mean, if you heard a story a year or two ago about how this doesn't work or that doesn't work, it doesn't matter anymore, that's all obsolete. Electricity is on its way up. It's changing rapidly and improving all the time. And this event shows us the incredible potential of electrical power thanks to Holly and the high voltage experience.